it's ShadeX, and today I'll be talking about LEGO Monkey Kid. LEGO has a big history animation-wise. There have been a lot of LEGO shows, with Ninjago being one of the most notable. There have even been theatrical films produced by WB that took place in the LEGO Movie Universe, which sadly does not exist anymore. I was definitely craving some LEGO animated content. The LEGO Movie and the LEGO Batman Movie were great films, and I even enjoyed the LEGO Ninjago Movie to some extent, as it was a new take on the characters from the TV show. Anyway, the topic of this video is about the newest LEGO TV show called Monkey Kid. Monkey Kid currently isn't airing in the United States yet, but it is airing in China currently. A hour-long special consisting of the first two episodes was uploaded to YouTube by a fan of this show. This, um, episode is dubbed in English but has Chinese subtitles. This is not a fan dub, it's an official dub. Anyway, what's the show about? It's about a boy named MK who gets a staff that once belonged to the Monkey King. MK works at a noodle shop and he runs into two villains after going to a trip to deliver some noodles. These two villains are Rita Repulsa lookalike Iron Fan and her son Red Sun. The two free the Demon Bull King, Iron Fan's husband, who was trapped by the Monkey King years ago. Red Sun manages to remove the staff and free his father. MK then manages to get a hold of the staff, accidentally, to the anger of Iron Fan, Red Sun, and the Demon Bowl King, who want to use the staff because of its immense power. Anyway, after getting the staff, MK goes to the noodle shop and shows his boss and friends the staff. They quickly realize that the staff belonged to the Monkey King. Meanwhile, the Demon Bowl King is wrecking havoc after getting an energy suit that was made by Red Sun that has the ability to take energy from anything rare. With each rare item, the Demon Bull King gets stronger. So how does the Demon Bull King get his powers? Go ahead, guess. Does he find an ancient artifact and, and absorb its power? Nope. He goes to a shoe store and absorbs all the Yeezys. Anyway, after this, the Demon King gets powerful and MK and his friends must band together to take down the Demon Bull King and his family. I am not going to cover everything in this video as I want you to watch this special for yourself. It's on YouTube. Monkey Kid is great. It's a fantastic show. Now I'll briefly go over a few of the characters. First there's MK. He's a bit of a goofball but he's a competent hero. Throughout the two-part episode he grows as a character and learns how to fight using his staff. In the beginning of the episode it's revealed that MK is a huge Monkey King fanboy. MK and his friend Tang swap stories about the legendary figure at the noodle shop that he works at. MK soon runs into the Monkey King later in the special. I won't spoil anything else, but he's voiced by Sean Schemmel, the voice of Goku. I thought that was a nice touch, as Dragon Ball Z is based on Journey to the West, which Monkey Kid is also inspired by. MK's friends are cool as well. Tang is cool as him and MK share the same interest in Monkey lore. Mei is cool as she has dragon powers. She's a girl obsessed with social media. But one of the most interesting characters has got to be Pigsy. Pigsy is a grumpy noodle shop owner who is a pig. He has a Brooklyn accent. At first he seems like a jerk, but later in the two-part episode he becomes a part of MK's team. He also has some interesting connections, specifically to the warrior Sandy, who has surprisingly softened up after they last met. Sandy is a funny character, he's buff, drinks tea, and owns a lot of cats. Now I want to cover the villains. I just want to mention the elephant in the room. How did Demon Bull King and Iron Fan conceive Red Sun? I mean, Demon Bull King, he's huge, he's gigantic. And Iron Fan, she's much smaller than him, so how did, how did they make Red Sun? Demon Bull King is a threatening villain and so is Iron Fan. However, Red Sun, on the other hand, is a very incompetent one. Sure, he's a tech genius, but he always gets his butt kicked by MK. He's very cocky. He's definitely a comic relief villain in a way. Now that I've covered the basic plot of the episode and the characters, I now want to talk about the animation. I am so glad this show is 2D animated. I have no issue with the Ninjago show or the Lego movies, but the problem I have with these pieces of media is that they remind you that you are essentially watching a toy commercial. It's not a bad toy commercial, it's an entertaining one, but still a commercial nonetheless. But with Monkey Kid, I completely forgot it is a Lego show. 
Lego Monkey Kid would be great even without the Lego brand. I'm so glad the show did not end up looking like the Lego figures. Glad it wasn't a CGI show like Ninjago. I don't hate Ninjago, but I wasn't a huge fan of the CGI animation. The show felt like a toy commercial to me. Anyway, Lego Monkey Kid is great. The action scenes are very well choreographed. The animation is fluid. Also, it was animated by Flying Bark Studios, who also animated Glitch Checks and Rise of the TMNT, which are two great shows with great animation and great action sequences. Monkey Kid is a very fun show. Once it's officially out, support it by streaming it or watching it on TV. I really hope this show goes on streaming rather than on Nick or Cartoon Network as I feel they would mistreat the show. Also, a great way to support Monkey Kid is to buy the Lego sets. Anyway, I'm so glad Monkey Kid is finally out even though it is an official US release. Lego, please bring this show to the US. I am begging you. This has been Shade X, and I hope you feel nothing but good vibes.